Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing a fall decorate and clean with me. I am so excited to share this with you guys. I have been kind of struggling this year to get in the fall mood and I'm finally there and I am just getting so excited to start welcoming the fall weather. It's not quite arrived yet, but in our house is totally fall. So the first thing that I wanted to do was just start by cleaning out my kitchen. I'm going to be cleaning the entire main living area of the house and then also taking down all of our summer decorations and then we will go ahead and start getting into decorating for fall. There's no going back, no going back. There's no going back to your own life. Not living in the past, we're over that. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. So normally it's one of the boys chores to unload the dishwasher every morning but in the last few weeks we have started school and so we're just kind of starting to get back into routines and while routines really make life a lot easier we are just kind of in that adjustment phase right now so the boys didn't end up having enough time to unload the dishwasher this morning before they headed off to school so that's why I am just doing that here. Riding on the dizzying heights Once 
once all the dishes were done, I just needed to put some new fresh flowers in our vase. Kyle actually picked these out and I was super excited because he didn't pick out any crazy colors or anything. He just picked out some white because he knew I was going to be decorating for fall. And so he thought these would go well with everything, which I thought was super sweet. You guys know that I usually always go for carnations, but he just decided to switch things up this time and get a different kind. I'm not even sure exactly what type of flowers these are, but I think they are so gorgeous. And just the white goes with everything. So I love them right now. Next, I just wanted to take a moment and redo our menu board. I actually had not redone it since I did our lunch video. If you have not seen the back to school kids lunch video, I will link that up above for you guys. But I just wanted to take a few minutes really quick and write out the rest of our meals for this week. It's been kind of an adjustment phase for me trying to figure out what exactly I can eat because as a lot of you know, I got diagnosed with Hashimoto's recently and I have to eat dairy free, gluten free and sugar free. I'm also not eating soy and not eating corn items. So there are tons of things that I can still eat but it's definitely changed up our meal plan a little bit. When you call my name, I go crazy. Cause I can't escape. When you call my name, when you call my name. Next, I just wanted to take a minute and show you guys how I seal our granite countertops. I mentioned this in a previous video. I can't remember exactly which one it was, but I had mentioned that I usually seal our granite countertops every six to 12 months. And a lot of you guys were curious. You had never heard of what that was. You didn't know you could do that yourself. And I will link down below the item that I use. I just get it from Walmart, but it's pretty inexpensive. And we just do this every six to 12 months ourselves, And it makes such a big difference. And I feel like it really helps protect your countertops, make them last a lot longer and look a lot nicer as well. So as you can see, the first thing I'm doing is just clearing everything off of our countertops. And then I'm also just going to wipe everything down with the multi-surface cleaner. I'm of course using my all time favorite, the apple cider Mrs. Meyer scent. This is finally in stores right now. And Grove also has it. I do have a link down in the description box. If you are interested in getting some of the fall scents this year, that link is going to give you tons of free goodies. So be sure to check that out. And then once I get our countertops all cleaned off, I will explain exactly how I go about sealing our countertops. So I am just using this granite countertop sealer. As I had mentioned, I will link this down in the description box for you guys. And all you do is just liberally spray your countertops, make sure you get a really good coat on there, and then you just let it sit for about five minutes. And if you notice that it's seeping in right away, go ahead and spray another coat on it. And then after five minutes, you will just go back through with a dry cloth and just kind of rub any excess away. And that is all there is to it. So I usually do this about every six to 12 months, or once I notice our countertops are not beading, like when you get water on them, they don't bead. And that is just kind of my first sign that I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta go ahead and get these sealed again. Tomorrow. 
I feel like during the summer when we don't have as many routines, we end up kind of eating on the go more or we eat at the countertop a lot more often and sometimes even in the living room. And I think that because we have not been eating at the table as regularly as we usually do during the school year, it's definitely become a catch-all, so I'm really hoping that with the school year starting and getting back into routines, that will become more of a thing again where we just eat our meals at the table because I really do think that time is really nice as a family and it definitely helps when I know that we are going to be eating there. I don't just let that place become a catch-all for us. This love ain't yours for the taking And baby, this heart can tell what's right or wrong I know that no love Moving into the living room, it really wasn't too messy. I found that during the day, the house definitely doesn't get as messy when we don't have all three boys here. We have Liam in part-time kindergarten. That's just how they do it here in Utah, or at least in the school that we are at. And then Luke is at school full-time, and then Noah is just at home with me. So as you can see, I finally got an ottoman, and I asked over on Instagram what you guys thought about this. I feel like when I bought it, I was going to go ahead and just paint the legs white. A lot of you guys said, leave it the color it is and a lot of you said paint it white so I would love to hear your feedback on what you guys think as I was dusting everything off I just started taking down items that I knew I was not going to be using for fall there were a few pieces of decor that kind of could go for any time during the year and so I wasn't exactly sure if I was going to use some of them so I kept a few things up and then you'll see later on I took down probably most everything but I figured while I was there I would just take down anything that was for sure summary that I wasn't going to be leaving up for fall Okay, so I picked up the boys from school, fixed my crazy bangs or postpartum hair, whatever you want to call it. And I actually picked up a little bit of fruit because as you saw, our fruit bowl was completely wiped out. It's looking pretty bare, but we have a rug and an ottoman, even though I have to do some things with them, I think. I also, does this look different? I rearranged in here. So I moved the couch. The couch was right here and it made this walkway kind of small. So I put this couch over in the corner and then I took the bookshelf that was over here and I laid it on its side. But here is what it looks like when you walk in. I am going to have to kind of like change this wall around because this was based off having the couch here or like a sitting area but I love when it's not piled up with stuff. It's so cozy to sit in here. I have like a little printer back there. My desk and stuff is still the same, you know, still a mess in here right now. What do you guys think? Yes, no, not sure about it yet. Let me know your thoughts. You definitely have to change up this wall either way.
Once everything was totally clean, I just needed to do the floors and so I am just going to be taking my vacuum throughout the entire floor and as you guys can see, we did get a new rug. I ended up going with the Ruggable rugs. A lot of you guys had recommended them to me and I have to say so far, I really like them. They are definitely a lot different. There is actually like a Velcro pad on the bottom that kind of holds the rug down but otherwise the rug is so thin, which it has to be so that you can actually wash it in your washing machine, but it's really different and I'm not totally used to it yet, but we do really like it so far. I also wanted to remind you guys, if you have not entered to win the Dyson vacuum or a few other big prizes I'm letting you guys choose, I do have a giveaway going on. It still has another week and a half, I believe. So I will link that video up above. So that's the video that you can enter to win that Dyson vacuum. Make sure you are entered. I made it super easy to enter and it's just my way of giving back to you guys because I recently passed my two years on YouTube and I am just so thankful for all of you. Cause I don't Awaken my spirit now. You got me thinking, whoa. I don't know how we got here. Oh my, I think we better run. We ought to leave this place tonight. I'm telling you. Finally, once everything was clean, it was time to pull out all of our fall decor and get it looking like fall in here. So a few tips that I wanted to share and that I've probably shared in the past with you guys is when you're decorating your kitchen, you really don't have to do a lot. If you have a windowsill in your kitchen, you can set a few little festive items in there. Always adding a dish towel is super easy, very inexpensive, and it really makes a nice little statement in your kitchen. And another one that I always do every single season is I change out the wreath that I have on our pantry door. I know a lot of people don't put wreaths on their pantry doors, but I've done this for the past few years and I really, really love the look. If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what A good time looks like You can do better So much better
into the living room and onto our fireplace mantle. This is always my favorite place to decorate in our house. I got this big sign from Hobby Lobby. I am not really sure what to call these, but these little flower hanging things were so cute. I found them from Amazon. They were $20, I believe, for a pack of two. And they're something that I think you can keep up all year round. You can just change the flowers if you want, or you can leave them as they are, but they kind of go with all the different seasons. And I love how affordable they were, and I really love how pretty they are and kind of unique. And I know I never measure anything, but because I wanted these ones to be perfect and I think that I'm going to end up leaving them up most all of the year at least, I really wanted to make sure that I measured them correctly. So I was measuring here, even though I pretty much don't ever measure anything. When I was decorating, I actually felt like I was going way more minimal than it ended up being, but I still really like it. Last year, I ended up adding in like a lot of little leaves and a lot of picks and just a lot of extras that honestly made it kind of hard to dust everything and keep it clean. So this year, I just kept some big items out and a few small groupings, but I didn't do a bunch of extras and I really, really love how it turned out. I do have some new pillow covers that should be here later this week. These are just some of the pillows that came with the couch when we got it and also some that I had already set out from summer. I'm not really sure that they go with the new couch so much or with the new rug, so I'm definitely going to be changing those out, but for now, this is what we had, so this is what we'll do. But I really do love ordering pillow covers from Amazon. That way you don't have to store a bunch of extra pillows and they're also washable. Moving into my office, if you saw my fall shop with me, when I went into Big Lots, they had a lot of these really, really pretty fall florals. And I feel like it could get a little bit too girly for the entire house. And honestly, I'm not sure if it's like 100% fall, but I do love it a lot. And so I wanted to incorporate some of these into my office 
because that is kind of my space. Not everyone comes and just hangs out in the office all day, but I am in here a lot. And so I thought this would be the perfect place to kind of incorporate some of these new items. Say something meaningful, say something I don't know, I want to know you better, the way that you talk to me, the way that you make me feel, I don't know if you're real, I want to put you in that spot. So this is how everything turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope this gave you a ton of cleaning motivation to get your home looking amazing and feeling nice and peaceful. And I also hope it gave you some inspiration and ideas to start decorating for the season. It is not fall outside yet. We are still having some 90 degree days, but the temperature is definitely starting to drop. And I feel like once the kids go back to school, I'm just ready for fall. It's no longer summer, so it's time to just start feeling the coziness of fall. Fall is definitely my favorite season and one that I love decorating for. So anytime I can bring those feelings into our home, I feel like it just makes me so happy. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Do not forget to check out those giveaways. I will link them down in the description box for you guys. Make sure you go check them out and get entered because there is still time. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. You know